Pangakong di papabayaan Ako'y nandyan lamang nababalo Di kita iwanan Pangakong di papabayaan Ako'y nandyan lamang nababalo Di kita Good day everyone, my name is Coach Vic and I am from Ramnet, Philippines. And in behalf of our organization, we would like to show our gratitude to everyone who's been part of our growing community. I am very excited to announce that today we give you 10% off when you visit spikeball.com website today. So go and visit the website, select your items to add to your cart, your sets, balls, shirts, merchandise, and many more. So don't forget to type in the promo code Coach Vic when you check out. So again, what are you waiting for? Go to spikeball.com today, get your set, and enjoy a 10% discount. So hope to play with you soon. Join the movement and spike on. There you go, Mabuhay! Yay! Why another great and exciting afternoon, Philippine Physical Education Community. This is your Saturday afternoon continuing professional development partner, onefisted.ph. This is Coach JR, uh, founder and program director of the SET organization. And of course, welcome here in our international featured FISED feature webinar series with the team creating meaningful physical education learning experience in the new normal. And of course, I would like to greet 
a great afternoon to all our participants for this afternoon. And of course, I would like to invite you, especially for those who are uh, tuning in via YouTube Live, to kindly share the link of our episode to your students, to your fellow teachers, and of course, to anyone who can be part of our program this afternoon. And of course, before we begin, may I invite everyone to have a short prayer with me. Let us all remember they're in the most holy presence of God. Dear Lord, thank you for this afternoon that you've given to us. Thank you for the life of all those people who are here to join this another professional development uh, training together with our resource speaker. And again, we would like to thank our speaker, Professor Faisal, for devoting time to share his expertise in this field. Bless this program. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. And of course, we have a lot of friends who are here with us this afternoon, and I'm really excited because we have another international speaker who will be sharing his insights, his story, and of course, all those experiences that I truly believe can inspire our teachers, our fellow teachers, and our future PE teachers who are tuning in to us this afternoon. But of course, I will be introducing him formally later. But before anything else, okay? I would like to say, Kamusta, or how are you? I hope that this week is a week full of learning experience, full of you know, new things that you've learned, and even there are some challenges that you experience. Still, you are positive uh, to explore and to continue things that we are doing every single week. And before that, I would like to give some important announcement. Number one, for those who are here via Zoom, of course, we'd like you to always maintain uh, to turn off your camera and your, uh, your audio. By the way, you can uh, turn on your camera, but your audio, it should be always turn off. Although, I believe our technical manager already uh, set it uh, to off. And another thing, if you have any questions uh, regarding our session, uh, please be informed that it will be entertained at the end of the discussion or the, uh, the talk or the lecture of our speaker. And for those who are in YouTube Live, Okay, I know you are there. The numbers are growing. Again, we just want to remind everyone to always be respectful with the words or with the message that you will be that you will be uh, sending in our uh, in our chat box and give respect to all the people, our friends who's here in this episode. Let's just enjoy this episode, by the way. And again, later on, for the benefit of those who are having a hard time. To generate their cert e certificate, I'll be guiding you uh, step by step later on so that you can uh, get your e certificate because there's a lot of inquiries and I'm not sure if all of those inquiries were answered. But this afternoon, we're gonna help you. All right, now with all honesty, it's been a pleasure to serve the Philippine Fish Ed community by providing regular professional development training. Imagine doing this regularly, regularly every Saturday becomes part of our, and I believe to some of you, your routine as well. And of course, this will not be possible without the support of the community to get relevant and meaningful professional development training. The regular Saturday becomes more exciting for us because we know that this kind of program can make a difference as we continue facing the challenges and demands of our profession. Right? Therefore, we call this session, every Saturday that we're doing the free webinar, we call this as a professional learning community. For those who are new, when we say professional learning community in your respective institutions, you're having professional sharing. You're sharing the best practices, right, of each teacher, of, uh, even students or professor in your institution. It's the same thing here. But what we are doing is that we are sharing this in a bigger stage. Watch by fellow teachers in other institutions around the country, and even those who are abroad. That's why, again, if you know that you have something to share for your fellow PE teachers, do not hesitate because I do welcome those uh, intentions for you to share. And we will schedule and give you a schedule so that you can also share for our fellow teachers. Okay? And of course, at this juncture, we would like to welcome for this afternoon Okay, we are here in onefaced.ph Zoom meeting room and we are streaming live via onefaced.ph YouTube channel. That's why for all those who are watching us live, once again, kindly share to your social media account. Ready? One, two, three, share it now. And of course, the link of our episode 
and to your fellow teachers, friends, or even to your students. Because I truly, with the topic we have right now, you can see there, sa aking background, in my background, no? that the topic that we have for this afternoon, it can truly benefit them. All right? So before I move forward, I know that those of you are really excited to have this session, but I would like to give some important announcements to the community. All right? Therefore, I would like you to listen carefully to the following announcement. Bye. I would like to promote the con uh, pick, uh, PPAP uh, International Conference this coming October 22. That's uh, Friday, if I'm not mistaken. I will be, uh, I'll be talking, uh, I'll, give, I'll be giving a, a, a talk during the conference. That's why I would like to invite you to attend the conference of the Professional Peekable Association of the Philippines this coming uh, October 22. And another good news that I would like to share to the community because yes, you as a member of the, of the community can benefit from this. OneFisEd.ph is the recipient of IOHSK Conference Physical Activity Program Grant. What do I mean by that? With the grace of the Lord, we made to uh, be blessed by the IOHSK, the International Organization for Health, Sports, and Kinesiology, given us a grant to create programs to engage youth and adults to physical activity. Therefore, in the coming months, expect and we would like to invite you to join some of our free physical activity or wellness program, of course, given as a grant by the IOHSK. And of course, I would like to uh, tell the community that OneFisA.ph is the recipient of an international award given by the World Education Icon Awards 2021, facilitated by Space and PC as the Iconic Teachers Training Institute. And this is something that we are happy that the international community is also recognizing the efforts of the community. And of course, yours truly, with, with the help of the entire community, I'm so thankful uh, being awarded as the icon teacher in the contribution in the field of education. There you go. You will see there at my back the awards that we received. This is an organization, Indian-based organization, that provided us this award. And of course, I would like to promote and uh, I would like to invite those who are into research to submit their paper. We have a call for abstract submission, and that's going to be until November uh, 15, and not mistaken. Yeah, November 15. If you want to present during the conference, then we would like you to submit an abstract for the review of our research consultants. And the last thing for this afternoon before we move forward, this is something that I would like to announce to the community. Watch this video. I think uh, there's something, Coach Josh, in the, uh, the the name of the file is there. Can you play it again, once again? There you go. Yeah, that, there you go. <laughs> Now, today, we launch and we announce to the community that OneFisEd.ph will have its annual conference. Okay? Our conference will be this coming December 4, 11, 18, and 18, 20, 21. That's going to be three Saturdays, morning till afternoon. We're in. We made to invite some of the known physical educators, sports enthusiasts around the globe, of course, to address the growing demands, and of course, challenges of our profession in that team synergy in, the, in uh, physical education now and beyond. Because we would like to give the community a perspective of what's the state of PE here in our country and how are we going to be globally competitive in the coming years. All right. So without further ado, okay, 
Uh, also, we would like to invite everyone to like and follow our official Facebook page. That's www.facebook.com slash onepiced.ph and also with, other, uh, with our other social media accounts such as Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the videos of our YouTube and search for onepiced.ph. Take note that we use YouTube channel to stream regular webinar sessions while our Facebook page uh, it is used to disseminate information. All right. It's good. And uh, once again, of course, we would like to thank Nutrabud, Nutrabud for supporting our regular webinar, our, reg uh, our regular episodes. And of course, uh, like what we mentioned in the past, you know, um, Nutrabud is a good food supplement that, that gives us immunity booster, antiviral, antimicrobial, gives energy, heart support, brain protection for brain protection, bone health, diabetes prevention, prevent arthritic conditions, kidney health, fat burning, and gut health. Imagine you will harness all these benefits by taking one soft gel capsule daily. Of course, made to you by NutraBud. For further details, you may visit their Facebook page. That's uh, www.facebook.com slash NutraBud or through their website at uh, www.nutribod.com All right, so and of course uh, at this juncture, okay uh, we're now going to present with our webinar session and again, we would like to uh, say hello first to all our friends here in Zoom and if you have uh, some friends that you can benefit from the topic that we have right now, I do uh, invite you to kindly share the link of the episode and we would like to say hi to all our uh, participants by uh, YouTube Live. We have a lot of students from Maca uh, University of Makati. We have uh, also uh, from St. Vincent, if I'm not mistaken, DPED student of St. Vincent College of Kabuyao. And we also have our regular friends here, Miss Eva Israel from Bicol. And well, that's great. We would like to thank uh, uh, the teachers, the professors of the, of the students we have right now here uh, who allowed their students to watch our, our uh, regular session. And of course, to our advisor, my classmate, of course, good afternoon, Professor Rizaldi Hopelena from Far Eastern University. Okay. Like what I mentioned, today we are already on our 17th episode. We are really excited as we have this webinar series uh, with the title featured Phys Ed Teacher with the team creating meaningful physical education learning experience in the new normal. I believe things that we're going to be learning will be very beneficial to all of us so that when there's an opportunity for us to use the region, especially when we're talking about gymnastics this afternoon, well, we can get something here that we can also use in our, uh, in our respective class. At this point, I would like to formally introduce our resource speaker. He's an Associate Secretary of Pakistan Gymnastics Federation. He's a Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert, Wakalet Community Leader, International Olympic Certified Gymnastics Coach and Sports Administrator, and country head of five international organizations such as IAPES Pakistan, ADGLE Pakistan, Global Trainers Academy, International Internship University, International Organization for Educators and Researchers, LEAD Philippines, World Voice of International, International Youth Society, IFPE, PEFSSA, and there's a lot. I believe that this man is always being seen in our community here in the Philippines and we are so thankful as he is always welcome to share his idea, his brilliant idea to help everyone here in the country. I'll not take this long. Let's all welcome our resource speaker for this afternoon, Professor Faisal Fayaz, to give us this webinar about impact of gymnastics on mental and physical health. Good afternoon, Professor. How are you? Good afternoon to all of you. And thank you very much. I'm very happy that you organized the session and give me the opportunity to speak about this highlighted topic that was the importance of gymnastics and what are the impacts of gymnastics on mental and physical health. Uh, reason is this, that 
being a human we always uh, engage ourselves in different activities but the most important thing while serving the community we should give them the best thing best outcome through which they can enhance their potential and become the best humans in the world so after this i'm going to start my presentation may i share my screen yes uh, professor i included you as co-host already let me know if you can share it in. I added also the other account. You may now share, Papel. Okay, my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, we can see it now. Right. So my name is Vessel Fias and I'm Associate Secretary of Pakistan Gymnastic Federation. And uh, I'm very grateful that already uh, the organizer and my friend, Dr. Jair Barto, introduced in a very well way. So now I'm going to start my presentation. The main theme of this topic is that what is the importance of gymnastics and how we can get optimal advantage through this course. So this is the main core of this thing. So introduction of this presentation, we will discuss about physiological and psychological benefits of gymnastic, multidimensional sports, multiple events to perform on, various methods used to train gymnasts, use of functional training, what are the benefits that while doing gymnastics, the humans can get, and what are the pros and cons while doing gymnastics. So all these things we will discuss, and we will see that why the different communities are choosing these sports, why not? the basically less developed countries and why the advanced, most advanced countries that choose this sports to work on it. So we will work on it. We will discuss all these things in this presentation. So gymnastics is what, first of all, the main uh, term come in our mind that gym and gymnastics. So gymnastics is also considered the mother of all games and also called as well. Reason whatever the physical education activity, physical activity, it's all related to uh, about gymnastics. Reason, there are different levels of physical activities, physical routines and physical exercises. So level one, level two and level three and obviously the most advanced level is gymnastics. So if you just uh, explore and see in the whole world, oh, the whole content and slavers of physical education at all level, it's 60 to 80 percent. It's all about the study of education gymnastics. It what are these and how we can basically do gymnastics, how the we how we can move in a better way, how we can basically increase our potential and how we can increase the coordination of body and mind. So the most important thing is this that we have two main things. One is our physical body and another one is our soul and our mind in control, just like this thing. So internal mechanism, it's not in our hand completely. It's not in the hand of human. But if you explore and if you basically come to know that how we can control these things psychologically or internally, then automatically you can get the better advantages of the sports. And in this way, you can increase your momentum, your speed, your agility, your flexibility, your strength. So each and everything you can do this thing. So gymnastic is basically it's all about your physical movement. It's all about your study of body, physical body. It's all about your psychological working of your mind and your body as well. So gymnastics has played an essential role in physical education for developing skills such as resistance, flexibility, agility, coordination, and kinesthetic sense. So it contributed to balance physical skills with personal and social competences. So in uh, Germany, in Europe, in America, in Japan, the most advanced wealth countries, basically, they totally focus on this sports. Reason is this, in this way, they come to know that they can basically, they can while doing research and development, they can come to know that how human body can perform better physically and mentally as well. And one of the example is this, we can see this thing that most inventions and the most innovations are all developed by these most advanced developed countries. Reason is this, they, they already trained and put the gymnastic in their education slabers in curriculum. And again, they basically totally focus on this sports due to 
basically come to know the hidden potential of humans as well. So gymnastic, they are considering gymnastic is a tool through which they come, they can basically come to know that how they can increase the potential of human physically and mentally, and even the components of physical human body as well. So gymnastic is a basically collection and it's a mixture of all the parameters and the, you can say the all the parts of human body through which we can increase our potential as well. So while looking this picture, you can think about this thing. What is the word that comes in your mind when you hear the word gymnastics? One is roping girl. The girl is dropping and moving. Another person is just showing stretching. Another person is in the air and doing some acrobatic exercise. In one exercise, in one picture, a gymnast is performing his strength and body control as well. Another one or a girl is showing uh, some movement, uh, static movement on um, beam as well. So remember this thing, the modern gymnastic, it's basically designed in such a way while thinking scientific approach that how we can increase, how we can judge the potential of a human and its internal instinct and its internal quality while judging parameters of speed, agility, potential, strength, each and everything. So these are all the basically research definition that I have shown you in my presentation. As a form of body exercise on the floor or on a tool designed to increase endurance, strength, flexibility, agility, coordination, and body control. So this is the main thing. So they are thinking that gymnastics is a tool through which they can increase the potential, endurance, strength, flexibility, and they can control as well as. And uh, a gymnast is also basically using all these things as well while doing any kind of exercise. When we talk about second definition, gymnastic is physical exercise or sport whose movements are chosen and arranged systematically based on certain principles according to specific needs and goals. So there are different types of gymnastics available in the world nowadays in modern gymnastic, rhythmic, acrobatic, uh, gymnastic parker also have been introduced, rhythmic gymnastic as well. But all these types of gymnastics, it's all about judging the potential of humans judging that how a gymnast is showing and demonstrating the exercise while managing his uh, basically mind and controlling the body as well. So this is the main thing. Our body and our mind, they all coordinate and gymnastic is basically its intermediary skill through which we can basically increase the coordination of body and mind, which is very important. While doing, while taking any decision, we think, while walking, we basically move and we basically we judge anything while doing any work, we move and we think. So again, this is our daily routine. But if we work at advanced level, then obviously in this way, our coordination of body and mind, it's become so much good. So why gymnastic? So this is the main thing. It's a fun, it's develop strengths, develop flexibility, develops coordination, develop teaching, listening skills, endurance as well, gains self-esteem and confidence, provides social interaction with peers, teachers' goal setting, develop cognitive ability to help in the classroom, develop skills to enhance other sports, also relatively safe at low levels. So these are some of the advantages, some of the things I have mentioned here. So you can see in it that cognitive ability to help in the classroom or in the whole life as well. Dwell skills to enhance other sports. Nowadays, we are looking the uh, Bollywood, Hollywood stuntmen. For example, I'm talking about Jackie Chan, Tom Cruise, and there are many other stuntmen who basically perform different kinds of different stunts in the world. They are of even our Bruce Lee, if we talk about, they all having gymnastic skills through which they increase the performance of their other sports as well. So while you have seen this thing, in football matches, uh, different players in excitement, they perform different kinds of acrobatic exercises in the ground after the match or during the match as well. So such kind of things are, you basically have experience of all that things. So it means gymnastics is a control of your body. It means you are controlling your body 
and your mind is the basically main driving force through which you are completely controlling you whatever the exercise a gymnast is doing gymnast is just thinking and according to that he is or she is controlling his body so remember this thing while doing gymnastic a gymnast is just like a fly flying on in the air and just like driving his body on the ground on other uh, events as well now i want to show one of the video which is basically launched by british uh, uk britons and in it i'm going to share my screen just yes that's so british are claiming this thing that if you want to become incredible so there is a need to choose the gymnastics sport so i'm going to show this video kindly watch it Just wait, I'm just finishing. Um, Professor Faisal, is there an audio for this video? Yeah, yeah, it's a um, sharing video. I'm just... Um, now we can't hear it, but uh, what you can do is to repeat the sharing by clicking the button there. Add with yeah. audio before, yeah. We're excited to watch this video. Thank you. Professor, the audio is not working, but uh, if it's really not working, you can just give us an idea uh, what's the video about. Professor, do you hear me? Professor, you're on mute. My voice is coming. Yeah, we can hear you now. By the way, um, I don't know if you heard my uh, words, but uh, we, we didn't hear the sound, but you can give us idea what's the video about. Okay. So after this weekend, I'm audible? Yeah, we can hear you clear. Okay. 
So we can see this picture in that picture, we can see that risk at spine. So such kind of dynamic movements and endurance and strength, you never experience in any other sports. Even athletics, swimming and gymnastics are considered the main sports of the world. In, and IOC International Committee also considered that uh, the first one is gymnastics, which is considered the mother of all games, athletics and swimming. These are major sports of the world and all the other sports are basically considered after this sports. So what is physical education? What is gymnastics? What is education gymnastics? Why gymnastics is necessary? What is the relationship of physical education and gymnastics? So we have discussed all these things that physical education, it's about education gymnastics in which we talk about and we read the curriculum, we study the curriculum that how we can move and in which way we can enhance the potential. We talk about the physical coordination of body and mind as well and rules regulation of other games like this thing. Gymnastics, it's all about this thing that what are the basically advantages uh, we can get through gymnastic and what kind of other gymnastic types are available educational gymnastics it's all about its rules regulation its uh, momentum its speed agility physics of gymnastics physics of physical movement as well that how we can increase its uh, quality of by increasing the uh, speed of our physical movement Relationship between physical education and gymnastics is very clear and no one can deny the importance of physical education and gymnastics. Reason is this, the, all, the whole curriculum of physical education is totally depend and directly coordinate with gymnastics as well. So meaning physical education is an integral part of total education process and has its same the development of physically, mentally, socially and emotionally fit citizens. Again, the most important thing, physically, mentally, socially, and emotionally fit citizen. This is the basically awareness and education of physical education. So if we move to the other end, then obviously in this way, we can go to the other level at advanced level. So first level is normal exercise. Second level is just like you can say the layman, sportsman, or the starting phase of your sports activities. And after that, the basically moderate and then advanced competitive sports comes in the uh, sports category. So the medium of physical equity that has been selected and planned to achieve specific outcomes, we can do this thing. So glossary or term, physical activity, physical education, physical fitness, physical literacy, sports, athletics. So these are basically just like a hierarchy of this thing that physical activities, grass, more motor movements requiring energy expenditure beyond rest for something like physical education plan, progressive learning experiences that are part of curriculum and delivered by a highly qualified physical education teachers in school, primary and other places, basically all the communities and in all over the world, all the educational institute basically trained physical education teachers to control, to increase, to enhance and by uh, to spread the awareness of physical education through physical education teachers. Then physical fitness can be a set of attributes that are either skill, or health related. So it means health related or the other things through we can get uh, by doing at a certain level, by increasing spending the time of it. Physical literacy and outcome of physical education, the embodiment of physical active life by maximizing potential. Sports activities about structured activities that takes place beyond the school telegram or like this thing. So this one is the chart that you people are looking here. That first one is motor competent, physical literacy, lives healthy. So this is the whole, uh, every government and every nation want this thing that their community and their young nation become the good one, best one, and uh, they are healthy and healthy lifestyle. They can meet the standard life standards, standards, uh, best life standards in the life. So the first one, standard motor, motor component, then understand movement concept and tactics, then physical activity, a physical active, physical fit, then socially responsible values, physical activity, and then potential future standard healthy eater. So this is the basically physical literacy uh, diagram through which we can get all these things. Now, the what is gymnastics? 
So NASIC is a sport that includes physical exercises requiring balance, strength, flexibility, agility, coordination, and endurance. The movement involved in gymnastics contribute to development of arms, legs, shoulders, back, chest, and abdominal muscle groups. So it means every part of the physical body is directly related while doing gymnastics. And gymnastics, it means it's the internal as well as external control of your body as well. We can, uh, while doing, taking breeze, while running uh, in aerobic and, and aerobic doing exercises, we control our breathing, we try to manage ourselves. And this is all about inside of your, uh, inside skill of your gymnastics. Physical literacy, individual lives they have physical, physically active lives as an outcome of physical education, standard based, but consider the individual maximize potential of each student develop mastery. Why gymnastic? We have discussed this thing. So movement education. Children that are involved with movement learning at a young age are more prepared for school. So this one is the diagram. If you want healthy life and you become, want to become the good one. So for this, there is need to basically work on movement education to control your body and something like. So healthy body, healthy minds leads to happy life and health is real wealth. So this is the main thing, but it all depends on you that what kind of control, what kind of control on your body and mind, uh, how you get, it's all about in the skill of gymnastics. Why gymnastic is a multi-facet sport. This is a sport that develops physical strength. So we have discussed this thing, gymnastics, socially interactive sport, gymnastic teaches responsibility and courage, overall gymnastic advantages. How gymnastic benefit children? So this one is the most important point that how we can give the maximum outcome to our young generation. So there are other mental benefits to gymnastic programs, such as those offered at Athletics at study of Rolf Barrett, the gymnastic teacher found that students involved in gymnastics have better cognitive skill. So this one is the most important thing, have better cognitive skill. So it means they have better control on their body through their mind. But on the other hand, in athletics or in other sports, they have running and they are not controlling the whole body. They have some other things, but while doing gymnastics, they are invisibly also trying to control their body. So this is the maximum control. This is the maximum thing which is being managed and controlled and learned as well while giving the education, uh, gymnastic education to the young generation. And it is evident that gymnastics, it improves the health of children, gymnasts and anyone. And also it gives the basically maximum potential to anyone. It increases the coordination of body and mind. It enhances the basically your body and mind coordination as well. So it making it easier for children to concentrate on their studies and to come up with solutions to difficult problems as well. So it means it gives the basic message or uh, learning skills. And in this way, you basically get the instruct skill that try try again while doing while learning a skill maybe a gymnast have to perform 10,000 time exercise and in this way they have basically built-in feature in their mind and body uh, that they can do anything at the best level so try try again concept in this way they also increase the basically confidence level of their body and mind as well and we know very well that our physical body having some muscles, muscle memory as well. And these muscles basically help out to you as well. If your body is fit and mind is not ready, then obviously you cannot get better outcome as well. And if your mind is ready and mind is ready, but body is not, then again, you have some problems. So there is a need to streamline your body and mind coordination at equal level so that they can become the good one and best one. So gymnastic keeps the body toned and flexible. It helps to build strong bones, muscles, lower blood pressure and strengths. The heart, it is proven that exercise helps 
people maintain a healthy weight as per Yale University School of Medicine, lowers the risk of developing diabetes and other diseases linked to obesity and lack of exercise. Nowadays, obesity is the main problem. Every nation, every community is basically uh, facing this problem that students are not active and they are bulky, their weight has basically risen up at a dangerous level as well. But if you are a gymnast and you keep yourself involved yourself in different gymnastic activities, then this is a guarantee that your body weight, your body, it will be in a balanced level and you can basically manage easily. Just like this, if you put a, uh, if you basically load, overload a truck or any vehicle uh, by crossing the limit of its weight, by bearing that thing, then obviously that uh, body, that vehicle will not basically uh, work in a better way. So remember this thing that everyone having a balance and there is a certain limit on which you have to work. So hard days are best because that's when champions are made. So gymnastics are this thing, it's about artistic, it's an art through which you can get control on your body. You can control on your mind and it's not a simple sports or game. It's not for the layer activities. It's about to improve yourself. It basically help it give you a artistic skill and artistic potential as well through which you can do anything in the world. Nowadays, I have given you example as well that most of the students men are gymnasts. Reason they are using their gymnastic skills and practice in different other sports as well. And in this way, they basically uh, prove themselves that they are the best one. So gymnastic having, these are some of the examples, the formal holds and the other operators, different kinds I'm going to show you. There are many kinds, women's bends, rhythmic tumbling, acrobatic exercises. So women gymnastic, there are four operators, wall bars, beam floor, in men's artistic, it's about floor, pommel horse. There are six events of men's artistic gymnastics. Floor, pommel horse, pedal bar, and high bar. Walt is also a very basically famous uh, apparatus of uh, artistic gymnastics. So where gymnasts basically have to run and uh, just through springboard, they have to pull the horse. And in this way, they have to perform some different and difficult exercises on the vaulting horse. Pedal bars. So high bar this one and this one is your balance beam floor it's very famous in all over the world it's 12 meter 12 by 12 meter square uh, floor area on which basically different uh, gymnasts perform different kinds of acrobatic exercises in, on the floor and uh, while jumping in the air and while showing different kind of physics uh, while implementing different kinds of physical rules and laws as well and they perform different kinds of activities by getting uh, pull and push force as well so this is a basically history of gymnastics in it basically you can see that in the past uh, in military training mostly gymnastics is first of all used in the world in ancient greek all greek cities had a gymnasium a courtyard for running jumping and wrestling Greek gymnastics gave way to military training. The Romans, for example, introduced the wooden horse. Slowly, the practice of strength, endurance, and flexibility spread across the globe. German Friedrich Ludwig John created modern gymnastics. He is a German, German Friedrich Ludwig John, who basically introduced modern gymnastics by developing scientific apparatus for, by basically managing the physical exercises on it. So gymnastics was introduced to the Olympics in 1896 for men and women. And the most important thing, this is the first sports in Olympics as well. So men's gymnastics is this one. So gymnastics is beneficial physical and non-physical benefits. So you are looking this thing that on one way you are incre increasing the mechanism of your body, increasing the all the components of your body. And on the other hand, you are also basically getting advantage by maximum control on your brain and mind as well. So physical benefit are just like your flexibility, healthy bones, muscle strength. These are some of the examples that I have mentioned here. That flexibility it means that its ability to move the muscles through their full range of motion. Their 
this helps with coordination and body awareness and in this way you can get maximum advantage and uh, you can fold your body you can move your body in a basically easier way and if your body is stiff then obviously you will get you will get face you will get different kinds of problems while doing movement if your body is not flexible so if body is flexible then you can easily manage your body you can control your body as well healthy bones obviously it again about this thing when you work when you do some kind of different kinds of healthy exercises then obviously your body your bones will become better and their and your bones health will become best and good one as well so muscle strength again tumbling jumping static flexible and holding one's own body weight in various position how children develop strong and powerful bodies so it's again very important thing muscle strength which is not visible but your muscle while practicing while doing try try again concept they have muscle memory as well and they in this way your muscle become strength as well and they are able to manage and bear any kind of load on your body as well so this is the most important thing muscle strength flexibility and healthy bones these are your physical benefits while doing gymnastics you can do non-physical benefits again non-cognitive non-physical benefits is about your mental training your mind control your social skills your tolerance level your basically friendship relations with others so it's all about your non-physical benefits so cognitive benefits benefits obviously this thing that it is when children are engaging in gymnastics they are exercising their brains as well as their bodies the most important line when children are engaging in gymnastics they are exercising their brains as well as their bodies reason while doing gymnastics you are not basically only doing physical exercises also, but also you doing you you are trying to literate your brain as well reason the brain is the central hub of your body and or oh, through brain you are controlling your body so in this way we can basically increase the potential and capacity of our brain as well as i have told you earlier that brain and your body so in between there is a coordination and for body and mind coordination we can also get through the maximum you can while doing gymnastics so it helps with school because there is a direct correlation between your physical activities and your other uh, study related things but again cognitive benefits it means that through brain you are managing your body you are telling that i'm going to do this thing and your brain is giving this direction and according to that you are performing that exercise social skills is very simple the more children can interact with different types of children both in schools and after school programming the more they will learn how to handle conflict and positively relate to others so it means in social skill they basically make friends they are ready to cooperate with each other they become friends to each other and in this way their coordination their basically interaction integration uh, teamwork skill they learn so all the basically these are basically non physical activities we can get through gymnastic as well so if we talk about the components of gymnastic so these are the major six components of gymnastic physical strength flexibility power balance coordination and agility so it's very clear that modern gymnastic having different kinds of scientific operators and uh, on some operators there is a need of maximum physical strength while on the other hand on other operators there is maybe uh, more agility required and on some other operators there is a need more balance as well so these are major six components of gymnastics which you can get and you can basically indulge yourself indulge these components in your body and mind as well through gymnastics physical strength flexibility power balance coordination and agility and the most important thing is again coordination if your car vehicle is not in your complete control so obviously there will be an accident so such kind of this thing that coordination and control is the most important thing and through gymnastics we can do this thing we 
by giving instruction your brain is basically central hub and brain give the instruction and direction that do this kind of movement and according to that your body will cooperate and body will uh, perform these exercises according to the internal potential of your body and the gymnasts are able to perform that thing so these are some of the pictures that you are looking gymnastics is an excellent mechanism for the teaching basic motor skills and promoting health related fitness in children at all ages so this is a basically research for definition that i have mentioned here so in all over the world the experts said this thing they are basically recalling their uh, they have mentioned this thing that if you want to increase the coordination of body and mind so gymnastic is the best sports for your children and for yourself as well reason it gives you internal instinct by increasing internal coordination gymnastic is commonly included in physical education programs across the world it represents an activity with many benefits to the point that it has been described as a fundamental and critical part of physical education curriculum that should be offered in preschool through faculty again this one is the definition that if you want to improve the community and you want to enhance the potential of your young learner so gymnastic just embed the gymnastic activities in your physical education programs and in your education program that's in front of us that in the europe and america is doing we are looking that all the advanced countries they focus on this competitive sports of gymnastic as well and they have made the part of gymnastic in their school education at secondary level as well so it's primary and mandatory requirement at all schools of advanced most advanced countries in the world in america and europe as well so they even finland basically they totally uh, focus on this thing in informal education through different activities so they said this thing that uh, by doing different kinds of activities students can learn much better than by doing formal uh, teaching or formal learning as well so through activities a student a gymnast or uh, any children can learn something better than others while doing while working on practical approach so this one is my research work that uh, i have mentioned here uh, but i'm skipping this thing so psychological benefits after gymnastic functional training mental mental toughness goal setting relaxation visualization positive reinforcement so i think i have given you the example so my basically research work was this that uh, what are the basically uh, physical and mental health impact of uh, gymnastic in uh, basically uh, teenage learners in pakistan so i set the basically criteria and i have seen that there is a significant significant improvement in the performance of teenage gymnastic due to functional training of gymnastic methodology that have adopted single group 58 gymnasts i chosen the age was 13 to 19 and according to the mag uh, men's artistic gymnastic uh, the criteria have set six element plus one exercise i have managed and uh, 16 weeks training was there and according to this statistical analysis i found this thing that there is a significant improvement in their performance in not only in physical but also in their uh, academic results as well so 4.19 it was mean then for 2.94 so standard error of mean is 0.75 but after the final training or after the program the post test result was 5.38 3.03 0.78 3 which is the basically significant difference so in this graph you can see that what was the result of pre-test of our gymnast group and at that group having 58 gymnasts and there is a 16 weeks program and after 16 weeks when again they were evaluated their performance and their basically uh, at all levels their impacts of gymnastic we have seen it's very visible 5.3833 so it means it improves the potential of all the basically young generation uh, young uh, sportsmen of that so finding i have functional training contributes significantly to improve to the improvement of gymnasts performance from all aspects regarding mental and physical health as well so pre-test scores are lower than that of post-test 
So we have discussed this thing again, mental training, try, try again and divide and conquer rule. So a gymnast, well, adopting and choosing the practical approach, try, try again and divide and conquer rule. So they split their exercise in different chunks and according to that, they train the body and mind. And after that, they all combine the exercise and in this way they can perform and they can show the better result as well. It's a lifelong skills as well. So this is some of the research work outcome. Also, I have, I'm going to show you health benefits of gymnastics. It increased self-esteem. It increased your cognitive functioning, discipline, social skills. These are all basically in front of you. And you are looking that all the whole research of the world, they are saying that physical education, that gymnastic is the main part of physical education and if you embed uh, your gymnastic activities in physical education program at primary level and secondary level so in this way you can increase the potential of your young generation as well discipline social skills these are all these things so impact of gymnastic program on health related fitness in adolescent people this is another research paper it's very clear it is that if you want to increase the potential of young generation, then just choose the sports and you will see their, that their outcome will be better one. Historical overview of gymnastics and uh, physical education in Slovenia, different papers are here, are mentioned here for your reference so that you people could see all these things. So conclusion from the statistical analysis, it has been concluded that there has been a significant improvement we have seen. So gymnastics is a sport of dedication, athleticism, and determination. Gymnasts train hard in order to maintain their strength, balance, and flexibility. Gymnasts not only reap the rewards of winning competition, but they reap benefits for physical and mental health as well. So these are some of the references that I mentioned. And after that, I want to show you video but for that i have to rejoin reason this browser has some problem so may i do this thing yes sir uh, i want to basically open the link in another browser reason this browser having some setting problem due to which reason i have to rejoin not sure so you're gonna be showing uh, a link yeah. yeah all right I'll, I'll, uh, I'll advise you if we can see the letter. Okay. So if anyone want to ask any question, you may ask. So in this way, we will discuss each and everything. Okay. Um, while we're waiting for what they're presenting, once again, we would like to invite everyone at this point. If you have any questions, feel free to use the chat box via YouTube Live. And for those who are here with us via Zoom, you may utilize the chat box we have here. Um, yes, while we are waiting, uh, Professor, do you still have something to share? uh yeah i'm going to share my video so give me one or two minutes so for the time being any right. question if you have you may ask all right from yeah. audience side via youtube i think youtube's delayed around 20 seconds but so far i have a comment here for you professor coming from one of our uh uh very loyal uh attendee miss darley mungkal uh, mungkal shout out to you miss darley uh, she says here, Professor, the study is highly valued. In our school, we have gymnastics who have developed a physically fit and manifest a high level of confidence. So um, she's just she's telling that uh, she agreed to the research that you presented a while ago. Uh, that's the most recent. Okay. While for the Zoom, uh, let me just check. So far, yeah, very. Uh, they're just commending you, Professor, for the sharing that you've done so far. But 
Yes, um, again, if you have any questions, feel free. This is an opportunity coming from our uh, very well distinguished resource speaker, Professor Paisal from Pakistan, to ask questions related to gymnastics. Um, based on what is shared so far, we can really see that the dynamics, the fundamentals, up to the relevance and importance of gymnastics has been presented to us clearly. It looks like for teachers, it's like a review of uh, the subjects we have during college days. And of course, for those BPED students taking physical education, this is a perfect opportunity in learning together with our resource people. All right. Okay, so far there's no comments uh, or uh, questions rather being posted, but I think everything's clear so far. And uh, let's just wait for the video that, that uh, Professor will uh, share to us. But I have a question, Professor. Um, yeah, um... I have a question. Um, it seems that uh, you are really into gymnastics. How, what's your background or how were you able to engage in gymnastics? during your early uh, years into this uh, sport? So the most important thing is just there is a need to make a best plan for your young generation. We, each and everyone, basically involved in different kind of physical activities. I mean, morning walk, afternoon mm -hmm. walk, evening walk. Yeah. So if we basically make a group of five to six person, as you have seen, and there is a friends of... Uh, different gymnasts of uh, and other sports as well so they can set some gymnastic exercises and they can basically uh, gradually they improve the complexity of their exercises uh, in this way they can basically uh, they can control better outcome reason at once you cannot do a complex exercise there is a need to mold your body there is a need to manage and teach your body as well. Gymnastics is not only this thing that you are just playing a video game. It's this thing. Uh, nowadays, you know very well that artificial intelligence is very important thing in this current yeah. era. Okay. So while doing video games, we are controlling and we basically train our brain that how to control the objects. But while driving on car, we are controlling our motor vehicle. But gymnastic is this, that if it gives you the control of your body, but there is a need to teach your body as well. First of all, if your physical organs, your legs, your waist, your body is not ready to cooperate with your brain, then mm -hmm. how can you do this thing? So again, streamlining, interaction, streamlining. integration is very important. I mean, while doing physical exercises you can increase first of all your flexibility then slowly and gradually improve the power of your body power inside of your body agility endurance so these are major component of your gym for your gymnastic exercises so gradually you can improve you cannot do at once all the things the first thing is obviously while doing all physical exercises we do warm up exercises and after that we are ready to do something this is the basically expert saying that warm up before doing any kind, kind of competitive sports or any kind of thing warm up is the most important thing and at the last at the end you have to do cool down your body as well so that your internal mechanism your uh, chemistry of your body it's become streamlined and become normal as well reason when you do warm up your body temperature rise up your internal mechanism, metabolism, it's become ready to cooperate with your brain and its functioning become better as compared to your normal stage. So this is the most important thing. So for doing any kind of activity, there is a need to first of all, prepare your mind, prepare your body. This one is the most important thing. If we do not have any target, so we cannot complete that thing. So for first of all, Goal setting is the most important thing that what you are going to do. If you have, if you set this thing, then obviously, for example, if I say that I want to perform a round of backflip double somersault. So for that thing, I have to first of all, make my mind that I am doing this a very high level skill and it's very dangerous. So for that, first of all, I have to train my mind that I'm doing this thing. Safety measure, I have to take care. I have to manage safety measure. I have to need a helper or not. I have to decide this thing and all the parameter I have to set. And after that, 
when I have set my mind after this, I am ready to perform. But again, preparation of your body and mind is very important. Gymnasts cannot become in a year. They can take three, four or five years as well. For at a competitive scale, I am talking about. At the starting stage or level one gymnast, they are, you can develop gymnast five or six months after the training of five or six months. But at once, a at a competitive scale, you cannot basically make a gymnast which are ready, who's basically become ready to do world-class exercises. So there is a need to make them and to train them at least three to six years, three to five years. Recent gymnastic is, and you have seen in Olympics that gymnastic, artistic gymnastics specifically have become so much dangerous at uh, world level. You can see that they are doing astonished exercises in Olympics as well. That our human mind and our uh, basically normal level, we are not able to realize this thing that a gymnast will do that kind of stunt or kind of this complex exercises on the apparatus. But they are doing. Reason, they have learned a scientific mechanism in their more body and mind and they have the complete control. Their body, their organs, their all parts are ready to cooperate with the brain. So due to which reason they can perform, they can do this thing. Even one more thing that I want to tell you that at competitive level, gymnastics is the most dangerous game of the world as well. Its injuries are very complex as compared to other sports. Reason in other sports, they are just running, diving, nothing else. But when we talk about the gymnastics, tumbling, twisting, you basically, uh, your body at different levels, your spine at totally wrist. I mean, it's just like you ha I have shown you a picture that in which you can see that the complete straight body is your U-shape. While if it can be, if your body is not flexible, so it means your spine can be broken as well at dangerous level. So such kind of injuries are also in gymnastic as well. But I'm not basically uh, making a fear and giving you this thing that gymnastic no need to do gymnastic. Gymnastic is safer sports. Gymnastic is very good tool to enhance the potential of your lung, young learners, but there is a need to make the interaction. There is a need to make, develop a proper plan for it. At school level and college level, then you will see that your community will become the best young generation as well. So just give me one minute. I'm trying to... Right. Very well said on all those uh, uh, informations that you provided. Uh, I agree that we can recognize the gymnastics really, you know, foundation of all the sports. And but still, despite of the complexity and um, uh, the difficulty of the sport, still, if the coaches be, are, are really trained to coach uh, uh, athletes, young learners, then possible to. Uh, let this uh, athletes or children to improve their skills. Uh, are you going to be playing a video, Professor? Okay, I think uh, let's just wait. All right, we can see while we're waiting for, for Professor Faisal, uh, we can really see to my fellow PE teachers in the country and for those students, um, we can see the details, the the all the content of the presentation of uh, okay. Give me one minute. I'm running from another browser. Just give me one minute. I'm not sure. I'll just uh, talk for a while. Then uh, if you're gonna be playing, I'll stop. Right? Okay. And uh, once again, if you have questions to ask, uh, feel free to utilize our YouTube chat and uh, and also our uh, chat here via Zoom. So while we are still with our speaker, we can ask this. And uh, some of the some of the comments given here. Uh, one thing uh, from uh, Alona Denise Villalobos. Uh, yes, uh, I'll agree with you know, that the uh, gymnastics program is not that uh, you know, accessible to most of the communities or places around the country. It's an issue also to be addressed. And of course, some, uh, we, we know that for gymnastics, it's better to start early 
and physical education teachers in the lower years. Yes, they have the topic for fundamental movement skills included in gymnastics, John, but um, still, there are some issues sometimes. You can also say that sometimes the teachers that will deliver PE are not really PE teachers by uh, profession, right? So still, the three teacher training is very vital. Okay, uh, Professor, are you about to share the video already? Or uh, you're not, it's not yet available? Okay, while we are waiting, of course, we would like to say hi to our friends all over the country. Good afternoon to all our friends here via Zoom who's joining us this afternoon. That's, I just want to call some of them. Maricel Ibarrientos from Beslin College of the Philippines. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us. Also, uh, we have a lot of BPED students or B Bachelor of uh, Physical Wellness. I think from University of Makati, we have a lot of students joining with us this afternoon. Magandang hapon sa inyo. And of course, our friend, Miss Debate Zoleta. Yeah, uh, it's okay if you're there via YouTube. I think you're having some problems with your Zoom. And all the way from Palawan, we have a friend, Miss Clarissa May de la Cruz. Good afternoon from Western Philippine University, Aburlan, Palawan. And Sir Glenn Bello, we miss you already from uh, Claveria. Yeah, I'm not sure what specific city. Yeah, marami tayong mga friends na nandito. Almost 100 ang nasa ating YouTube live. Okay, I'm online. Yeah, sure, Professor. If you want to share, uh, feel free. Do you have a new account that uh, you, want my, you want me to add as a co-host? Or you're still using the same? Okay, kindly allow me to share screen. Okay, great. Uh -huh. Let me just check. Uh, your co-host under Professor Paisal. Is there a new account? Uh, yeah. Yes, All right. that's successful. Um, there's feedback from the other device. Can you tell me what, what's the name of that account that you're, you want to, you want to uh, use to co-host? Oh, yeah, there, there you go. I think this one. Yeah. Can you check if you have some notifications there? There you go. All right. Okay. All the name. Yeah. There you go. We can uh, see it now here. Hopefully, the audio will work. There you go. We have a lot of students via UP from University of Northern Philippines. Alana Denise Villalobos. Thank you for tuning in with us. It's from Ilocos. So this feedback. Kindly advise the question if you're about to share already. Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going to go. My screen is visible? Yeah, but yeah. Uh, we can see some feedback coming from another device. I think there's another device to open. I think the phone or another laptop. All right. We can still hear it. I'm the one who 
I found something different. We're the ones with the strength to hold an iron cross on rings. With the power and the courage to fly. just start off on a horse and one day I'll be as good as my heroes it's amazing to be a part of your heart pounds your muscles burn and you can say with pride I'm a gymnast I'm a gymnast I'm a gymnast I'm a gymnast I'm a men's artistic gymnast what will you be Okay, it was audible or not? Yeah, we can hear it already, uh, the sound of the video. But yeah, there's a little bit noise, but it's fine. Better than the first one. Okay, it may be some technical issue due to which yeah. I'm facing problem. Yeah, we understand. Okay. Okay. So after this, if there is any question and anyone want to ask anything? Um, so far, what we have here... So far, we don't have any question here, but more of affirmations. Thanking, uh, let's say thank you, of course, to you for your sharing. But um, generally, Professor, I have some important questions, but that I'm not sure if you can uh, if you can elaborate your answer to give idea, especially to PE teachers or future PE teachers we have here right now. Um, here in the Philippines, our situation is that during this day, until this day teachers are still teaching online. Do you have some tips to share that if their topic is about gymnastics, aside from the one you said a while ago, to prepare also their, their, their self to, to have the skills to teach to students, right? Um, what are the tips that you can share to our fellow PE teachers so that they can still deliver meaningful gymnastics class despite of the situation that um, we're teaching virtual or some even modular, but at least at least the, the, the virtual setup. So uh, according to my opinion, if you are still basically working online teaching, so physical education teacher make a standard and their basic level a plan for gymnastic training, mean jumping, tumbling, shaping of body, conditioning, strength and exercises, for example, I'm just giving an example that three sets while doing 2020 jumps on floors and same like making a bridge through wall, wall, uh, basically they just basically at the back of their wall and they just at the back end they are walking and in this way touch the floor surface of the body and again they come back and again in this way they can make uh, 10 times attempt and it can be one set. So this is this is an example I'm giving to you. Reason, the body conditioning is very important thing. Conditioning is very important in all sports nowadays. Sports is not just like a, uh, you can say it's only for layer. Nowadays, every sports have become a basically competitive sports. And every nation and every community, while practicing, they have some basically, you can say, uh, best outcome in the body as well while intentionally or un unintentionally as well. For example, I'm giving you an example. In Pakistan, what happened that uh, if there is a need of a gymnast, so our basically departments, they try to search out uh, basically educational gymnasts from the universities. And they just look at this thing, those players who are practicing on in rounds and in the parks, they basically try to judge them and after that they give them training and in this way uh, in Pakistan they make them to a professional gymnast. So same like in Philippines and in other countries as well. Reason this is a very general way to make any kind of sportsman. For example in Philippines, in India, in Pakistan we have basically very similar environment and uh, culture as well. If you just see this thing, we are not basically advanced countries. We are, uh, you can say, at middle level, you can say, we are not so much advanced. We do not have resources. 
and again our uh, communities having no so much abundant you can say wealth as well due to which reason we have lack of resources in our community but again when there is a will there is a way so if we have will we can set anything while practicing physically in grounds in parks and at home as well but again it's better to do something as compared to do yes. nothing yes yeah okay so this is the main thing i have told you one thing that goal setting is the main thing and if we have set our mind that we will do this thing so gymnastic give this thing the most important thing in stick in your body and mind as well that you cannot sit uh, basically statistic static at static position as well you are restless reason your body wants some movement your brain wants some kind of movement as there is a need to take breath there is a need of oxygen so same like when you become a good gymnast or a good sportsman so they love to spend their time in grounds in parks in the social gathering to enjoy the layer moments to enjoy to enjoy the natural life as well so for my side this is the best thing that at home they just set a chart a paper a plan that they have to do these kind of exercises and uh, mean one hour training it will be enough in a day while doing conditioning strengthening body warm up judging jumping tumbling and uh, while doing front roll back roll these are the simple basic exercises that we do in and in the whole world in physical education in physical education teachers are doing these things front roll back roll cartwheel running jumping and such like of balance on one leg handstand headstand so these are some of the basic things and all the physical education teachers are doing at normal level reason these are the part of educational gymnastic in physical education syllabus and they have to perform while passing out the practicals as well of physical education reason practicals of physical education consist of these things front roll back roll cartwheel handstand headstand such kind of things in all over the world this is these are the basics yes it's from my side yeah and yes of course uh, thank you for all those insights and i really feel whenever i ask you a question you're always giving all details that you want to to give to the answers that might help uh, many teachers and to tell you professor um one of our reason viewers... reason this is my love i love my game i love my sports gymnastic and i have seen whatever i am it's due to only gymnastics right. so reason sometimes i i want to mention here one time i fell down on the ground ground in the park in 2000 while doing double back somersault and my uh, right wrist uh, had broken okay so doctor said that it will take time one year or two year okay i'm giving one example to you and but i do not become dep basically depressed or uh, become this thing that what happened to me but while making my mind while putting my wrist in a machine where the basically doctor advised me only 10 minute seat i give them heat i give heat to my right wrist one hour and within a month with intense uh, internal my potential skill bearness tolerance by putting load on my wrist i make my right, right wrist able to again functional and doctor become surprised that it's not become possible it's totally fractured and how you do this thing so it means humans can do anything there is a need to set the mind first of all if you have will you can do any kind of thing so this is just a training try try again divide and conquer rule these are the basic things through which we can improve ourselves we are humans our ancestors lives in forest and jungle if we just look at the past but these are humans who work and collaborate to each other and in this way they become nowadays a civilized life in cities as well so these are some of the example that i have mentioned here 
All right. And uh, very well said. I have nothing to add since you uh, delivered everything and uh, the way you encourage us, uh, like what you mentioned, uh, also mentioned here from you by one of our uh, attendees, Ms. Darlie Mungkal, better do something than to do not, nothing. Of course, the pandemic brought a dramatic change with the way we teach fellow teachers. But the good thing is that despite of the challenge that we are dealing every single day when we teach, we still always find solutions to better address the needs of our students. And that's and for that, we would like to thank you, Professor Faisal, for this great uh, webinar session that you've given to OneFisEd.ph. And I believe this is not the last since you, uh, you allow yourself to deliver two more by November. Yes, uh, I'm with you. I'm with you people. Reason. I'm, I love and I like to those people who are serving the community by spreading the awareness of physical education, sports, and health-related matters. Reason physical education is the science of life and subject of life. And through this, we come to know that how we can increase and make the good humans. So for that, I'm always with you. My friend, and thank you very much. Thank you very much to invite me here. And thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Salute to you, Professor Paisal. And of course, good luck to the upcoming gymnastics competitions that you're joining together with your athletes, right? By the coming weeks. All right. So at this point, of course, we would like, uh, we would like to say thank you to our resource speaker and uh, to our humble e-certificate, Coach Joshua. Can you please uh, share? Uh, the certificate that we're going to be awarding to our resource speaker. Okay, let me read. Certificate of recognition is hereby awarded to Professor Faisal Paidas. Professor, can you tell me how to pronounce your name? Professor, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Faisal Fayaz. Faisal Fayaz. Am I right? Yeah, you All are right. right. Thank you. Okay, this certificate of recognition is hereby awarded to Professor Faisal Fayas for generous, generously sharing his expertise as resource speaker during the featured Phys Ed Teacher Webinar Series with the team Creating Meaningful Physical Education Experience in the New Normal on the 70th episode titled Impact of Gymnastics on Mental and Physical Health. This uh, via One Phys Ed YouTube channel and Zoom awarded the 16th of October 2021, signed yours truly, J.R. Viterbo, founder of OneFisEd.ph, Mr. Joshua Villarreal, technical manager, and Ms. Hazel Yunus Carmen, program and events manager. We cannot, uh, we cannot say how much thankful we are, but through the bottom of our hearts, we would like to let you know that we appreciate the time, the time difference that uh, I know that there's a difference with the time, but we're so thankful that you devoted your time for the Philippines, physical education community. And with that, we'd like to stay, say thank you and salute to your work. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. I'm grateful to all the attendees and grateful to the Philippines and One Physic Education Philippines as well. Thank you to your organization. I'm very humble that you invited me here to basically spread the awareness, to serve the humanity. You are doing a wonderful job. And I'm always with you, people. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat po, Mr. Uh, Professor Faisal. All right. Now, at this point, before we conclude our episode for this afternoon, again, like Professor, that he made to share and devote his time for the community. Again, if you know that you have a great topic, you have a great story to share, onefisa.ph is open. Uh, for you to share those topics that you want to share for our fellow teachers. Use the stage of onefised.ph para i-share natin yan. And of course, before I uh, go to, to the certificate, no, e-certificate generation and evaluation, again, once again, we're inviting everyone to support to support our fundraising shirt. Okay, Our fundraising shirt because uh, this shirt is, of course, the benefic beneficiary of this will be our future PE teachers, and of course, we are so uh, we are just part of this uh, advocacy to help yung ating mga future PE teachers by purchasing our fundraising shirt. That's why, if you would like to avail the shirt, of course, the link of this is available through our Facebook page. And for those 
who would like to be part of the PNU membership of One PH, since we're having a conference for you to also to avail the discounts. Again, we're going to be inviting you to join our premium membership. At this point, I just want to share to the community how are you going to be generating your certificate. Like what we've mentioned in the past, we uh, our previous uh, software is not working. That's why we are using this solution by when you accomplish the Google form, okay, you will see on one of the pages there a link to generate your certificate. It is a Google slide. Once you click that in the Google form, you, you click that link, you will arrive into a Google slide. You just need to make a copy of it. It's automatic. You're, you're, you're about to make a copy. Type your name in that Google slide. And the most important, save as PDF. Save as PDF so that it will be saved in your computer and you have your certificate. Hopefully that more or all of you will be getting your certificate because that's the most uh, best way that we can offer so far until we get another, uh, another software that we can use. Okay, so, and again, I would like to mention this to the community. Thank you for those 113 people with us via YouTube Live. And also for those more than 20 people who are here with us via Zoom into the admin of onepiece.ph. Don't forget that next week we have an international featured PE teacher. Are you aware of uh, uh, street ball? Okay, yeah, street ball, street basketball. Next week, I invited a friend from Indonesia. He's a street ball. He's making a name there in Indonesia. He's our former speaker already in the previous conference, Mr. Max Sarnes, to share us how, of course, he's teaching street ball in physical education. That's why do not be absent because I believe basketball is number one sport in the Philippines so far. And I believe you can benefit from this. Okay, so before we end, again, let me just uh, share to you now the link for the e-certificate. Okay, and also Sir Mark, can you help me also via Zoom to share the link of our e-certificate and evaluation. Make sure to accomplish the e-certificate Okay, so that we get evaluation uh, about this uh, about this session. Okay, let me share evaluation copy. All right, I'll just wait for it to be posted via YouTube. There you go. It's posted now. It, it's now pinned. Okay, again, it's now pinned via YouTube Live and Sir Mark. If uh. Hopefully, you were able to share uh, the certificate, e-certificate e and evaluation link here in Zoom. Once again, this is another Saturday full of learning from our resource speaker, Ms. Uh, Professor uh, Faisal Fayas. And of course, we would like to thank everyone for being with us this afternoon. Once again, this is Coach JR together with the full administra administration of OneFaceHead.ph saying let's break the limits and let's go beyond. Happy Saturday. God bless everyone.